potentially history-altering discovery has been made beneath one of Egypt's most mysterious sites, the Tomb of Osiris, a symbolic burial place associated with the god of the afterlife. Italian researchers, the same team that previously claimed to have uncovered a vast underground city beneath the Giza pyramids, have now announced the detection of a sarcophagus-like structure buried over 600 feet below the tomb. This finding, if verified, could lend weight to long-standing theories of subterranean secrets beneath Egypt's ancient monuments, secrets that may predate recorded history itself. Using advanced radar imaging, specifically synthetic aperture radar, the research team claims to have visualized an unknown chamber below the known levels of the Tomb of Osiris. The tomb itself descends more than 100 feet and is divided into distinct tiers, the lowest of which has previously been thought to mark the end of any structural depth. However, the newly released images suggest otherwise. A vertical shaft appears to continue beyond the third level, ultimately reaching a large, empty space more than 650 feet below the surface. Within this void, the radar analysis allegedly detected the shape of a sarcophagus, possibly surrounded by flowing water. The research team, composed of Corrado Malanga from the University of Pisa, Filippo Biondi from the University of Strathclyde, Egyptologist Armando May and spokesperson Nicole Ciccolo, emphasized the objectivity of their data. According to Ciccolo, the tomographic radar analysis was able to replicate in high-resolution detail the known interior of the tomb of Osiris before extending even further underground. The researchers state that this serves as proof of the radar system's accuracy. They used high-frequency radar pulses sent deep into the Earth, and by interpreting how the signal waves bounced back after encountering different materials, they reconstructed the probable presence of voids and structures far beneath the tomb. This discovery follows closely on the heels of the team's announcement last year that they had uncovered a massive subterranean complex beneath the Khafra pyramid. That earlier radar study suggested the presence of eight vertical wells, large enclosure-like formations, and anomalous structures descending more than 4,000 feet below the surface, an unprecedented claim that captivated global attention while simultaneously drawing widespread skepticism. The team now believes that these structures may be as old as 38,000 years, predating known human civilizations by tens of thousands of years. They base this claim in part on their interpretation of ancient Egyptian texts, which they suggest describe a lost civilization erased by a cataclysmic event. Such assertions, however, have not gone without fierce criticism. Dr. Zahi Hawass, Egypt's former Minister of Antiquities and one of the world's most prominent Egyptologists, has publicly dismissed the radar findings. He stated that the technology used is not scientifically validated for such depths and added that no radar equipment has been used inside the pyramid with official approval. Similarly, Professor Lawrence Conyers, a radar expert at the University of Denver with decades of experience in archaeological geophysics, expressed serious doubts about the methodology. According to Conyers, ground-penetrating radar is generally limited to depths of around 30 to 40 feet, depending on the wavelength, and would not be capable of detecting features hundreds of feet below the surface. Despite this skepticism, the Italian researchers have defended their approach and findings. Ciccolo, who has 25 years of forensic experience, described the processed radar imagery in detail, pointing out unexplained dark areas on the third level of the tomb shaft and deeper voids that suggest previously undocumented rooms. She stated that pixel analysis indicates these areas exist at depths between 328 and 656 feet, and emphasized that the SAR system used had been calibrated to extreme depths, offering a new frontier in archaeological scanning. The team has yet to publish their findings in a peer-reviewed scientific journal, a factor that critics argue is crucial for validating the extraordinary claims being made. Nonetheless, their public release of the radar images, including side-by-side -side comparisons of the known architecture of the tomb of Osiris and the deeper unknown features, is intended to showcase the potential of satellite radar tomography in revisiting old mysteries with new tools. Adding another layer to the mystery is the recurring theme of running water, as observed in both the tomb of Osiris and the depths beneath the Khafra pyramid. The presence of water, especially near sarcophagus-like shapes, is suggestive of ritual or symbolic significance, potentially aligning with ancient beliefs about purification, rebirth, 
and the journey to the afterlife. In Egyptian mythology, Osiris was intimately linked with the underworld and cycles of death and rebirth, making the presence of flowing water and a possible sarcophagus beneath a tomb dedicated to him a compelling parallel to mythic archetypes. The deeper implication of this research goes beyond physical discovery. If even partially confirmed, the detection of buried structures so far below the Giza Plateau could challenge established narratives about ancient Egyptian history. The mainstream scholarly consensus holds that the pyramids were built around 4,500 years ago during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom. The notion of structures or artifacts existing more than 30,000 years before that would suggest either a lost advanced civilization or a massive rethinking of human cultural evolution. Critics argue this veers into pseudo-archaeology, but proponents say such radical claims deserve testing, not dismissal. As it stands, the debate highlights the tension between emerging technological methods and the slower, more cautious pace of traditional archaeology. While Egyptology is grounded in documented excavation, pottery typology, and inscription analysis, technological advances like SR and remote sensing allow for new forms of non-invasive exploration. The clash of these two worlds, conventional academia and experimental science, creates both conflict and opportunity. The mystery of the tomb of Osiris and the mysterious sarcophagus hidden far beneath it remains unresolved. Whether future excavations will confirm the presence of a physical chamber 656 feet below the surface or disprove it as an error or artifact of flawed radar processing is unknown. What is clear, however, is that curiosity about Egypt's deep past remains as powerful as ever. Whether through myth, exploration, or emerging science, the sands of Giza continue to challenge the boundaries of what humanity thinks it knows about its origins. For decades, the ancient wonders of Egypt have drawn not only awe and admiration, but also intense speculation and controversy. Among the most persistent theories is the idea that certain discoveries beneath the Giza Plateau have been known for far longer than officially acknowledged, and that a deliberate effort to conceal them has been underway. This theory stems from recurring patterns of limited access, sealed excavation sites, and inconsistencies in official narratives, factors that have led some researchers and historians to suggest that Egypt may be gatekeeping information that could radically reshape our understanding of ancient civilization. A central point of controversy involves repeated reports of archaeologists and independent researchers being denied access to specific areas of the Giza Plateau, including regions surrounding the Great Pyramid, the Sphinx, and underground tunnels rumored to crisscross beneath the surface. While official reasons for these restrictions often cite preservation concerns or safety, many believe that these justifications mask a more strategic effort to prevent the disclosure of potentially paradigm-shifting findings. Some have gone so far as to claim that powerful institutions, both within and beyond Egypt, may be complicit in withholding information that could challenge widely accepted timelines of human history. One particularly contentious example involves the Great Sphinx of Giza, one of the most mysterious monuments of the ancient world. Early aerial photographs, particularly those taken in the early 20th century, appear to show a large hole or shaft on the top of the Sphinx's head. These images have circulated among alternative historians and independent researchers for years, fueling speculation that a chamber or tunnel system may lie beneath or within the Sphinx. However, Modern images of the monument show no such hole, raising the question of whether it was covered up or sealed to hide what lies within. Critics of the mainstream archaeological establishment point to this as a clear example of potential obfuscation. The Sphinx has long been surrounded by legends of hidden chambers, some of which suggest that ancient texts, technological artifacts, or even records of pre-dynastic civilizations could be concealed beneath it. One thing that is known is that restoration work has been done on the Great Sphinx. Something to note, though, is that at the time, and as mentioned by Tour Egypt, systematic research on the water table, pollution, and on the properties of the stone and mortar were undertaken. They note, though, that for some unknown reason, these discoveries were not applied when the restoration work was being carried out. It's been theorized that the hole in the head of a sphinx actually led to an ancient underground chamber which then joined up to more underground chambers beneath the Great Pyramids. This secret city, as it was dubbed by the mainstream media, was allegedly found in March of 1935. 
Newspapers even covered the topic, and it was speculated that this discovery would have gone down in history as being one of the greatest. However, not one Egyptologist or researcher commented on the findings, it was almost as if every researcher forgot about these initial discoveries. There was complete silence from those studying and working alongside these structures. Back in 1987, a Japanese research team from Tokyo's Waseda University began an extensive underground survey of the regions surrounding the Great Sphinx statue, utilizing groundbreaking technology at the time known as the Electromagnetic Sounding Survey Radar in an attempt to better image the sunken regions of the Sphinx statue. Under the direction of lead researcher Sakuji Yoshimura, the team got some of the most accurate three days rendered images of the statue ever seen, with a strange revelation that no one had seen coming. For some unknown reason, the Japanese survey team discovered an extensive system of cavities and tunnels inside and underneath the Great Sphinx monolith that were believed to have been previously undiscovered. According to the team, south of the Sphinx was a hollow tunnel, believed to have been two and a half meters wide, and three meters tall connecting two chambers, a small and large chamber that appears to connect to additional tunnels that stretched north, south and southeast of the Sphinx's direction. Portions of shafts were found in unconnected areas beneath the Sphinx, with additional cavities found inside the structure of the Sphinx and beside the body of the Sphinx unconnected to the tunnels beneath the monolith. None of these findings have been pursued after the survey, with many denying the existence of the tunnels and shafts despite the mountains of clear imaging evidence gathered under the direction of lead researchers. One of the most enduring myths is that of the so-called Hall of Records, a legendary library said to contain knowledge from a civilization lost to time, possibly Atlantean in origin. While Egyptologists deny any evidence of such a hall, repeated refusals to allow full excavation around the Sphinx continue to raise eyebrows. Some researchers argue that any proper investigation should include non-invasive scanning and ground-penetrating radar, technologies that could confirm or dismiss the presence of subterranean voids without damaging the monument. Yet, even these proposals have reportedly met resistance. These patterns of restricted access extend beyond the Sphinx. Over the years, reports have surfaced of sealed shafts, closed tombs, and even sudden halts in excavation projects across the Giza Plateau. In some cases, journalists and researchers claim to have witnessed entrances or anomalies being quickly boarded up or buried, only to later find no trace of them. This has further fueled suspicion that certain findings are being selectively hidden from public view. The reasoning behind such a cover-up, as theorized by some, is to maintain control over the accepted historical narrative. A dramatic revision of Egypt's ancient past such as the discovery of a lost civilization tens of thousands of years older than previously believed, could disrupt not only academic consensus, but also religious and political frameworks that rely heavily on conventional timelines. Others argue that the Egyptian authorities, particularly the Ministry of Antiquities, may be driven by a desire to preserve national heritage and protect against unauthorized research or looting. However, Critics counter that these motivations do not explain the consistent lack of transparency. They also cite cases where foreign research teams were given limited access, only to have their permits revoked after reporting unusual findings or making claims that deviated from mainstream Egyptology. Some suggest that the desire to retain academic authority and cultural control over Egypt's past may contribute to a tendency to suppress or downplay controversial discoveries. The issue becomes even murkier when considering the intersection of archaeology with politics, tourism, and international interest. Egypt's ancient sites are not only cultural treasures, but also powerful economic engines, drawing millions of tourists each year. The narrative that accompanies these monuments is tightly managed, and introducing radical new theories could jeopardize this carefully curated image. Some theorists argue that global institutions, including museums, governments, and even universities, have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo. To publicly acknowledge the existence of unknown chambers or evidence of an advanced pre-dynastic civilization might unravel much of what modern history is built upon. Despite these controversies, some in the academic community continue to push for more openness and transparency. Advances in technology, including satellite imagery, 3D mapping, and subsurface radar, have enabled researchers to explore what lies beneath the surface without disturbing the land. 
These tools have already revealed previously unknown cavities and structural anomalies beneath the pyramids and surrounding areas. While mainstream Egyptology often attributes these to natural geological features or dismisses them as unremarkable, alternative researchers argue that the public deserves to see the raw data and to draw their own conclusions. Ultimately, the question of whether a cover-up is taking place in Egypt remains unresolved. For some, the evidence to support claims of hidden chambers or secret discoveries points to a cover-up. They argue that until full archaeological transparency is achieved, speculation will continue to thrive. The mystery of the Giza Plateau endures not only because of what is known, but because of what remains hidden. Whether these secrets are simply awaiting future discovery or being purposefully concealed is a matter of debate. But as long as questions remain unanswered and access to critical areas is restricted, suspicions of a cover-up will persist. The Sphinx, silent and ancient, continues to gaze over the sands of time, perhaps guarding truths that humanity is still not ready or not allowed to know.